friends. Welcome back. My name is Rochelle and this morning I wanted to share a little activity that I like to do every year um, after Christmas. Uh, we have all these beautiful Christmas cards that our friends and family send to us and I display them up on a wall and at the end of the season it's so disheartening to have to take them down and recycle them. So a couple years ago, I decided to go ahead and turn those cards into gift tags to be used for the following year. And it's been pretty fun. I really do enjoy doing this every year now. And it gives me a chance to take another look at the Christmas cards that were sent to us. So I'm going to be taking Christmas cards like these and turning them into gift tags to use for next Christmas and the next holiday season. And to me, that way, I'm saving a little bit of this Christmas and looking forward to next year. And when I pull these cards back out in the form of gift tags, I remember the previous Christmas and I remember all the, the beautiful Christmas cards that we were sent. So stick around and we will be creating some gift tags. So basically what I do is I go through our Christmas cards and I cut out the parts that I can use. So on the back side, I make sure there's no writing, that there's no pictures of, of um, people's families. I do like to save uh, some pictures from our family and close friends and I put them up on the fridge um, but I don't want any like small pictures or handwriting to be on the gift tags that I will be giving to, to somebody else next year. So I go through and I just cut out and save the parts of the card that I can use. So a lot of these you'll see are basically just the front of the card. And some of them also have a nice beautiful back and a saying on them. And then other ones, these were, this one was from a photo Christmas card. So I just cut out the pictures and then saved this part of it that says joy. So this would be really nice as a gift tag. So I'm going to show you how I fancy it up <laughs> to make it kind of cool. So to start off, let me just show you ones that I've done in the past. So I've taken ones like this and I use my craft scissors to do a nice uh, kind of swiggle. And then I take my hole punch, I punch a hole and I use some kitchen twine to tie it. Super easy. Um, and you can also be as creative as you want. So let me show you another one. One like this. This is like the front of a big, bigger Christmas card. Again, I just use my craft scissors and I cut squiggly lines around, make it fancy. It's got a nice white back so I can write to and from. Use the hole punch and then kitchen twine. Easy peasy. You can do ones like this too. This again was another photo Christmas card and you can kind of see where like the pictures were that I, I cut out. And the back side is totally clear and white, so you can write on the back. And so this one was a little bit more creative. I wanted to keep the pictures of the trees and happiest holidays in there. Again, hole punch and kitchen twine. This one I thought was really super cute. I actually made this one a couple days ago. So you can just take that nice Christmas card and repurpose it you're good to go. Okay, so those are some of my examples. Let me show you what I'm going to do. So let's start with this one here. So all I want to do now is decide what craft scissors I'm going to use. So like I have these ones here that are kind of like a jagged edge and then I have other ones that have swiggly lines, just kind of something different. Uh, to give that gift tag uh, a little pizzazz, I guess, you know, something fun. So I think for this one, I'm just going to use these scissors here with the nice jagged edge. So.
think I'm gonna put mine right in the middle. Then I'm just gonna take my kitchen twine that I have and then however long you want your, your string. You can always trim it up next year when you're attaching it to a present or a gift bag. And then I just take my kitchen twine and tie it on. There's another gift tag ready to go. With cards like these, they're so beautiful and it has such nice detail. It's always kind of hard to cut these ones up because <laughs> I see so many pretty like spots in the card and I'm like, well, I just want to make it one big gift tag, but you can, you can just kind of zoom in and do like the Christmas tree um, and have a really pretty, pretty uh, gift tag there. you have a gift tag ready to go for next year. So I hope I've given you a little inspiration and holiday cheer on how to put those beautiful Christmas cards to good use after the Christmas season and the holiday season is over. Um, so much love went into each and every one of these cards. Let's give it some love back. Thanks for watching guys. Take care. Bye bye.